When it came to the MCU, a lot of studios turned Kevin Feige and that whole idea away. Originally, he pitched a five-year plan that would lead up to the Avengers, and the future after that was unknown. Now he reflects on the last five years that have completely changed Marvel Studios and Hollywood as a whole, so let's talk about that. So a lot of you know by now who Kevin Feige is. In case you don't, he's the guy running Marvel Studios. Soon he's going to be doing some Star Wars stuff. He made the Spider-Man deal possible. He's kind of, um, I guess, the savior of Marvel, if you really will. He was the one that was able to say, we'll take Iron Man, Cap, Thor, we'll do all that. Make an agreement with Universal, put the Hulk in there, get the Avengers out there. Naturally, Disney bought them. He stayed in that position of power. And one day, they announced what the ultimate goal was, which of course was Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. This year, Avengers Endgame, ended up being the biggest film of all time, of course, destroying box office. And naturally, now people want to know exactly how he feels about it. So Kevin finally opens up about this. You guys can find the article down below in the description. And here's what he had to say. To me, those expectations and exceeding them in many cases, I'm still processing it, to be honest with you. Because for five years, our goal and our supposition was to deliver on the promise of a finale in a way that wasn't expected, in a way that people were anticipating. Participating and seeing audiences around the world respond to these characters they've lived with for 10 plus years was a really remarkable emotional experience. So if you guys look at Avengers Endgame, there was a lot of people, a lot of analysts said that this film would not keep up with Avengers Infinity War, that it wasn't even going to do those numbers because it was one of those, oh, it's just a sequel to the first film. And Typically, if you look at that, sometimes sequels do not do as good and people just didn't know if maybe Infinity War was all hype and because of the small marketing thing, Avengers Endgame wasn't going to do well. They proved all of that nonsense. Naturally, a lot of people went in. There was a lot of people that honestly went in from a lot of hype too and they literally started the MCU with Infinity War. So you have to look at that and when he talks about the fact that he's reflecting on all this and how it wasn't anticipated, you have to just kind of go, yeah, honestly, how could they anticipate this like how do you anticipate something this big something this monstrous there was no way they could have seen this you know there was no way no analyst or anybody that was going to look at that and be like yeah that movie's going to tap that movie's going to top avatar as a matter of fact the biggest analysts out there like scott mendelson i believe is his name he made multiple articles talking about the fact that endgame had no way of doing these types of numbers again people are always proven wrong because we never know what the next big thing is going to be so honestly it's great to just see how humble he is and how he talks about this and I'm just excited by this to know what the future holds because at some point they're probably going to try to top this whether that happens and what the next thing that could top it could be that'll be an interesting thing but that's not for this video